Cheyenne's Holiday Park, a mere 600 feet from Union Pacific's nearest section of mainline in town. In it is a plethora of outdoor urban recreation. The centerpiece of it all is something that's made it unique to tourists for over six decades. That centerpiece is one of eight surviving examples of the world's largest steam locomotive, the Union Pacific Big Boy. This one is the oldest preserved example. What's more, number 4004 we see, the fifth big boy, is one of three now living in his home region, near his original home rails. Union Pacific contracted the American Locomotive Company of Schenectady, New York to build 20 of these 600-ton behemoths in 1941, some of which rolled out of the factory a mere days to a few months before America joined World War II. Five more were built in 1944 due to wartime restrictions that prevented Union Pacific from acquiring diesels. big boys were built to muscle fast, heavy freight trains over the Union Pacific's steep mountain grades over the Continental Divide, particularly the Wasatch Mountains in Utah, and later over Sherman Hill in southern Wyoming from Cheyenne to Laramie. With the passage of time, they could also be found traveling as far south as Denver, Colorado, where Engine 4005 remains today. At 132 feet long, these machines were the largest reciprocating steam locomotives ever built, and depending on which batch you're referring to, the heaviest as well. The first 20 locomotives weighed 594.75 U.S. tons, as opposed to 604.375 of the 1944 engines, which were built with heavier steel due to rationing of metal during World War II. The CNO's Alleghenies which were two 666s, could weigh between 592 and 604.45 U.S. tons. However, when comparing the individual locomotives without the tenders, the big boys more often went out. Being denizens of some of the most remote areas of the United States, especially Wyoming, the driving wheels of these 4884s were larger in diameter than even most simple articulateds at 68 inches, the biggest was 70 on the North Pacific's Challengers. There was a higher emphasis on speed compared to that of other railroads' biggest locomotives, which would explain why the big boys weren't the most powerful steam locomotives at just 135,000 pounds of tractive effort and 6,300 to 7,000 horsepower. But this meant the big boys could muscle massive freight trains at faster speeds than its competition, provided it wasn't a load beyond their limits. Being incredibly powerful, yet impressively fast too, made replacing these monsters with diesels all the more complicated process than most articulateds. For a train that would need five to seven 1940s to 50s era diesels coiled together, a big boy could pull the same train unassisted with much less wear and tear, and thus a lower operating expense. It wasn't until the advent of the incredibly powerful gas turbine locomotives in the late 1950s that the UP finally had a machine that could do the work of the big boys, but more efficiently. 
The last one of a big boy was on July 21st of 1959. From that day, they sat in storage until the last was retired in 1962. Today, eight big boys survive, being spread all over the United States. Seven, including 4004, are seen on static display, with engine 4014, based in the back shops, less than a mile southwest, has been running in Union Pacific's Heritage Fleet ever since being refurbished in 2019.